This video is to explain the pose cat pulling its tail in yin yoga. Now cat pulling its tail is a quite a complicated pose. There's a lot going on in this stretch and it's yeah well we're going to try and unravel it a little bit in this video to see which might be the best way to approach it for yourself. So for many people a belt will be beneficial or a strap, a, a scarf, whatever you have to hand and some yoga blocks and maybe some cushions might be of benefit too. So let's see if we can see and begin to break down how to approach this pose. Coming down onto our backs and we enter the pose via a spinal twist. So I'm just going to draw my knees into my chest, bring my hands out to the side and drop my knees over to the right. Okay, so we're going to begin to take this pose into a thigh stretch, front of the thigh and front of the groin stretch for the lower leg. So in order to do this, we begin to bring that lower leg behind us. Now, in some cases, this left hand with the bottom leg, my right foot, might be able to reach hold of that foot. But in a lot of cases, that's not going to be available to you. So this is where our strap comes in. We can strap, pop the strap around the foot and then take hold of the belt with our hands, just to lightly encourage you. We don't want to be yanking on that belt. We, it's just a lightly encouraging a little bit more space, a little bit more openness in the front of the groin and the front of the thigh and that bottom leg. Now, I don't know if you can see, but my this leg's actually dangling in midair here because I don't really have the ability, I don't have enough adduction in my, my hip joint to take that leg any further across comfortably. So in this case, let me just take my, it round see the other way. So the bottom legs come behind us and yeah, this kind of legs there, but that doesn't feel great for me. I personally, if it does for you, by all means, let that leg, some of you may be able to let that leg kind of drop comfortably to the floor. But in my particular case, I like to take a prop underneath my, my foot just to help keep my foot a little bit more in line with my outer hip. So I've got that bottom leg held by my back arm, my top leg's coming across the body, so we've got an outer hip stretch going on here, working into the gallbladder meridian. We've got a front of the thigh and groin stretch working into the stomach and spleen meridian. And then if we can, we rotate our body round towards the ceiling. Now for some of you this just isn't going to be possible, you may need to stay facing in the direction of that, that top knee. But if you can, begin to rotate round. And we also get a little bit more of a stretch here in the front of the chest, working a little bit more into those upper body meridians there. And for some of you, taking a cushion or a blanket and popping it underneath that little gap between the floor and that shoulder, if it's not grounded, may work for you again. Let me just demo it to the other side. So, foot's coming behind, the, the, the knee may come to the floor, and again, sort of play about with these variations to see the difference between how it feels if the knee's reaching the floor or how it feels on a block, and then maybe propping underneath that shoulder, or maybe it feels just fine with you letting that shoulder drop towards the floor. And as always in our yin yoga poses, how we first prop isn't necessarily how we'll spend our whole time in the pose. Maybe you start with a prop there and you remove it, or maybe you feel the need to place one half there halfway through the pose and that's fine too. But the important thing is that we come into these moments of stillness in the pose. So we set into our first position and we allow ourselves you know, these six, seven, eight, nine, ten breaths there to feel this first experience of the pose. And then if we need to make a little shift, then we do. So we shift, we reprop, and we settle back into that stillness, that place of observation once again. Okay, so 
in order to come out of the pose, release the back leg, draw your knees back together, draw yourself to face into your bent knees. And then after a few breaths there, allow yourself to come back through center and maybe just knock the knees together in construct constructive rest pose in the center before taking the other side. And then of course, once you've done the other side, take a rebound and let that, that pose, that somewhat in, this very complex pose, just integrate into your body, into your mind. And maybe you'll be more aware of what's happening in your thigh, maybe what's been happening in your spine due, due to the rotation, your outer hip due to the stimulation there of the leg coming across the body, or maybe even sort of round the front of the chest, down the arm. And of course I've moved more quickly here for the sake of this, the, the video, but you may spend three to five minutes each side in this pose. Okay, so cat pulling its tail. I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching. Namaste.